Hey everyone, my name is Adam Mishan. I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach, and today I want to walk you through what you should do every time before you sing. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. So when a lot of people think about warming up, they think about vocal exercises. A lot of people don't necessarily think about stretching out this part of their body so that it can potentially be looser and more strain free because a lot of the wrong muscles are right here in the neck that sometimes jump in to try to help out with singing. If we could try to relax them, get them to elongate and be less tight, then overall we're going to feel a much better vocal performance than if we don't have this. All right, so the very first thing that I want you to do is stretch out the front of your neck. So the front of your neck actually has a whole bunch of muscles that can get really tight, specifically the one we want to focus on is this right here. It's called the sternocleidomastoid. And this muscle for a lot of people gets very involved in the process of singing, but it doesn't need to be. So we want to try to get it stretched and relaxed as much as possible. So first we're going to start off by lifting our chin to the sky. Now I'm going to stop talking for this because my voice is going to get really kind of tight if I try to talk while doing this. But we're just going to lift our chin up. We're going to hold that for 20 seconds. We'll put the clock on the screen so you can follow along with me. Now, a good thing to do while you're doing that is to actually try to jut your jaw forward. That's going to help to stretch all the front of the neck muscles. Not so much this muscle yet, but a lot, all those front of the neck muscles are going to get stretched out if you jut your jaw forward as you do it. So now what we're going to do is bring our chin to our chest. This is going to stretch out the back of the neck. Whatever we do on the front, we want to also do on the back. and back to normal. If you want to sing with more confidence and power, then you have to sign up for my lesson subscription. You get two group lessons with me personally every single week. You get access to all my courses and you get access to recordings of all my one-on-one -on -one lessons with my students. That will help you learn vicariously through them. Click the link down below to sign up now. Now it's important to also try to breathe normally as you're doing these exercises. For a lot of people, they will try to hold their breath as they do them. We don't want to do that. We want to try to breathe into these stretches. And every time that you breathe out or exhale, we want to try to go deeper into the stretch. So next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a little massage on this muscle over here. So we're just going to start from way back in the back here, and we're going to move down that muscle. You can probably see how it flexes over here. And we're just going to dig into any tight spots like right there and try to massage that out. Now, for a lot of you, this muscle, you don't realize how tight it is, how many trigger points there are in here. So you want to try to just really massage it out and get it feeling really nice. And again, whatever we do on one side, we want to do on the other side. So again, we're going to find that muscle and then we're going to work our way down, just massaging paying any close attention to trigger points along this muscle. It also, the muscle connects into your clavicle, so your collarbone over here. So you can work all the way down into there. But believe it or not, this is really going to loosen up, not the vocal muscles, but the muscles that are not necessary for singing. And so these muscles can sometimes get tight. And when they get tight, they inhibit our free singing voice. Great. Next, what I want you to do is put your finger on your chin and I want you to slide your finger down to the little notch in your throat. And then I just want you to put fingers on either side. And I just want you to slide your hand down the front of your throat. Now this might make you feel like a tickle in your throat as you do it, that's okay. Just try to be gentle. These muscles are very small on the front of the throat. So we want to try to be gentle as we do it. It can also help to get a little bit of cream to just, you know, kind of give a little bit of lubrication so you're not pulling against the skin. But just 
dry can also work as well. Next, what we're going to do is actually move the larynx. So that little notch right there that I mentioned, it's your larynx and it actually can move quite a bit side to side. So I just want you to get some movement in there so that we get it to shake side to side. Now you don't need to dislocate anything, just some gentle movement side to side is all we want. Get those muscles to let go of it a little bit more. Open things up. Now you might be hearing some noises as you do this. That's okay. It's just the muscles trying to release. And the more you relax your jaw and your tongue, the easier this will become. Good. Now, above that, you'll notice there's a hard bone. That so above your larynx, you come up a little bit higher, you'll hit a hard part that's kind of a thin hard part. It's a horseshoe shaped thing that is a bone. It's the only free floating bone in the body. It's called your hyoid bone. And we want to do the exact same thing we did with the larynx on the hyoid bone. So we want to just move it side to side, move it around. And again, loosen that tongue. If you notice it's tight on one side like I am, just pull to that side. <laughs> it's weird to talk while you're doing it. Yeah, just try to get those muscles to release. Now there's so much more wiggle there. Good. Now try saying something and see if it feels any different. Does it feel maybe a little bit more scratchy than before? Does it feel a little bit more free? What are the feelings that you're having? If it's feeling more scratchy, maybe you did something a little bit too much, or maybe your voice needs to settle a little bit more. So try to just gauge where your voice is at after this type of exercising of the muscles and stretching of the muscles rather. So next what I want you to do is locate your cricothyroid notch because this is a really helpful one especially for your higher range. So I want you to put your finger again on your chin slide it down to that first notch. Now we're going to go past that to the very second notch. It's a much much smaller notch but that notch is your cricothyroid and so what we want to do is massage on either side of that notch. Well you'll notice here is these muscles can sometimes get quite tight. And we just want to massage in circles on either side. Get those muscles to relax. Good. Make sure that all of this is super gentle and that you're not doing anything that hurts. None of this should hurt. It should all feel really good, really easy, really relaxing. None of it should be strenuous in any way. The final thing that I want to do is stretch the neck side to side. This is also going to stretch out the SEM. What we're going to do is take one arm and we're going to lock it behind our back. And then the other hand is going to come up over the head and stretch that to the side. We'll do this for 20 seconds each side. Again, deep breaths. Just relaxing into it. I think that was about 20 seconds. I wasn't really counting that one. Let's count this one out a little bit better.
and back to neutral. And now what I want you to do is start singing and see if that doesn't loosen some things up, get you singing a little bit more freely, a little bit easier than you did before. Do this every day before you start singing and let me know in the comment section how it's going because I really, really love to hear feedback like that. And if you're really interested in seeing instructional tutorial videos like this one, check out that one. You're gonna like it.